I've been trying to shoot this video for like three days, but here it is, our 2021 Chevy Silverado 1500. So before we dive into this beautiful, amazing truck and why we got what we got, I first wanna say goodbye to the Jeep. I filmed this like two weeks ago at like seven in the morning when we were headed to the dealership. We thought we were gonna trade it in, but they actually didn't have what we wanted on the lot. I'll get to that in a second, but here is kind of why we wanted to get out of the Jeep as well as some good memories that we had in her. Well guys, if you're watching this video, then that means that we have said goodbye to the Jeep and we loved it and we got to experience some really cool cool things in her, like taking the top and the doors off and riding through the rain and mud, which was so much fun, uh, to kicking in four wheel and on our honeymoon taking some mountain roads, like gravel roads and uh, steep inclines to some beautiful views. And both of those experiences are actually on the YouTube channel if you go back a good ways. So as much as we enjoyed having this Jeep, there were just some things that really frustrated us. Like we paid a ton of money for a brand new Wrangler. and. Some stuff on the interior just kind of felt cheap. The visors both broke at different times. The latch on this console uh, broke for some reason. But there was also things that we absolutely loved like the push button start and the touch screen. Everything worked flawlessly in that regard. The transmission was great. The engine was great. The gas mileage was great. Um, there's just a few things that we couldn't live with anymore and one of those was really you know the space i've got nothing to announce right now other than our family could be growing in the next year or two and so with that we did need something with a lot more space of course you guys know that i want a boat at some point we've talked about getting a camper all of these things that the jeep just really would not allow us to do we do love this thing we're thankful that we had it for a little over the year that we did we have some really good memories and experiences in this jeep but we found a really good deal on something that we wanted and we made it happen so this is it this is the last uh, if you're watching this video then we've already said goodbye to her but I'm filming this the morning of just in case we love the Jeep but we're so excited about this truck we're so excited to have a lot more truck than we originally thought let me kind of explain see originally we were gonna get a custom trim level which is a little bit lower and it had everything that we needed but not necessarily everything that we wanted so Amber came home from work one day and said you know why don't we go ahead and get everything we want up front spend a little bit more money but this is the truck that we're gonna have that we put our kids in that we tow a boat in potentially a camper in and we're getting ready for another small move and I'll share that with you guys uh, when the time comes this truck hits all four things that Amber and I both required in a truck I required two things she required two things let's talk about that we'll start with Amber the first thing that Amber wanted was a crew cab and honestly after having the crew cab I totally agree I don't think we could have lived with a smaller cab the crew cab is the full size look at all of this space I'm a full grown adult and I fit back here super easily, plenty of headroom. This thing has a ton of space. Obviously in the next, I don't know, little while, we want to put a car seat back here. We were babysitting our niece yesterday and she fit back here along with Amber. Plenty of space for all of their stuff and it helps me as someone who primarily posts fishing and fishing related content i can put all of my fishing gear in the back of the truck the second thing amber required is actually up front and that is apple carplay i don't have it on right now i think all modern vehicles come with apple carplay but the rst actually comes with a slightly larger screen than the custom as well as a larger and color screen for the driver's information. And so both of Amber's things easily checked off this list. Let's head over to the driver's side for the two things that I had to have in a truck. The first thing is I had to have four wheel drive. Now the Custom also had four wheel drive, but it didn't have four low like the RST does. Do you guys call it mudding or mud riding? Let me know in the comments below. Now I don't do a ton of that, but having four low that the Custom did not have is something that I'm excited about because you never know when you're gonna find yourself in a sticky situation. My other requirement was that it had to be able to tow a bass boat. The Custom could tow a bass boat. It had a four cylinder engine in it though with plenty of capability, but all the reviews that I watched and Red, talked about how they hadn't had it long enough to talk about reliability. So ours has a 5.3 liter V8 under the hood. This bad boy can tow any and everything that we could possibly want to tow. So part of the RST and the Z71 package, you know, we have the off-roading shocks, we have the all-terrain tires, the 18-inch wheels. I think all of them come with the one-touch tailgate where it lowers itself. 
And so we also have the spray-in bed liner from the factory. We also have the all-weather floor mats that go all the way across front and back so you don't have to worry about tracking in mud, especially us with a corgi that sheds like crazy. We don't have to worry about any of that stuff. This truck is gonna take care of us. We were originally gonna get black with the Custom, and they had a black RST on the lot, but it was a six cylinder or a V6 turbo diesel. I've never owned a diesel. I'm sure diesels are awesome, but I would rather have the V8 gasoline engine. If you guys have been following this channel for a long time, you know that we actually tried to trade in the Jeep a few months back. That dealership was, like most dealership experiences, pretty awful. They were trying to tell us that we were about 15 grand upside down in the Jeep, and so we really didn't think getting a truck was possible, but uh, our friend Dustin, his mom works at Marchant Chevy, and she hooked us up with a salesman that she trusted. You know, we went in just wanting to have a conversation, and I cannot stress how amazing our car buying experience at Marchant Chevrolet in Ravenel, South Carolina really was. Our sales guy was named Sean Couch. Guys, this was the lowest pressure sales environment I've ever been in and I will definitely be a repeat customer to Marchant Chevy. A positive car buying experience is few and far between and so I'm telling you guys if you're in the Charleston area and you're looking for a vehicle definitely hit up Marchant Chevy. Tell them TJ sent you. It won't mean anything but hey maybe they'll remember me. Oh this one also has the fog lights which I think are dope as well as the LED headlights look so good. I've also already ordered a replacement here but I'll show you guys that when it comes in. I gotta say too my boy Nathan who absolutely does not like the way the new Chevy front ends look. Sorry, buddy. I think they look tough. So that's a rundown of some of the bigger features of the truck. If you guys want an in-depth owner's review of this truck, let me know. I'd be more than happy to film that video as well. Well, there you have it, guys. There is our 21 Chevy Silverado RST with the Z71 package as well. We love this truck. It's so much fun to drive, and we can't wait to share so many adventures in the truck with you guys. If you're new here, I primarily post fishing and fishing related content. So I encourage you to go watch a few of my older videos and then hit subscribe if you like what you see. We are really trying to grow this channel and last I looked we were three away from hitting 400. Thank you guys so much for all that support. I can't wait for 400 and beyond. Trying to get on the water and get fishing this week. The weather has been really weird but we've got a lot of cool things happening. I got a lot of really cool ideas hopefully to bring to you guys very very soon. You guys really like the AR video too so hopefully we'll get some ammo and we can get some more shooting videos videos in as well. Alright, that's it for me guys. I am actually still at the church rendering our video. I'm about to go check on it, go home, upload it and all of that so that I can get to editing this video for you guys. Enjoy this blooper of me trying to record this two days ago and being interrupted by the ice cream truck and I will see you guys in a couple days. Trying to film the intro to my truck and the ice cream guy is going by and it is so loud. I'll try again later.